Hey guys, so I am going to vlog my week at a family, um, national family physician conference. So it's basically for med students, for uh, residents, and for attendings. Uh, so I've never been to one of these conferences before because the timing was always off. And so I'm finally going to go to one and share uh, my experience with you guys. I am all done. I just need to eat and then we're going to head out. My dad's going to drop me off to uh, the Philly airport and I'll tell you guys about my flight because I feel like I'm so good at finding two flights. So I'm gonna talk about my tactics later but I just wanted to let you guys know that the journey is beginning hey guys so I just got here I'm in it's like a little studio room because I'm gonna be here for a week um so I decided to get like a little studio hotel ish thing and I really like I was a little nervous for it um, because sometimes you know how like on pictures it doesn't end up being the same but it's actually so I'm excited, a legit studio. So you have the kitchen there, the bathroom directly in front of it there. And then there's like room for, you know, clothes, TV, and then the bed. It looks comfortable. So, so I'm gonna actually order some pizza. I got some menu from the nice lady downstairs. Let me just quickly call pizza in because that's gonna take forever to get here. By the way, I don't know if it's gonna work, but use code Mercy Medical to see if it, you're gonna get any money off and it could also help me so i'm gonna be using um i mean obviously by the time i go home i'm probably not gonna be using it but maybe it'll help you good morning you guys so today is thursday i just got done getting ready i think i'm gonna tuck it in i'm gonna wear heels so it's like i think i'm gonna wear my black ones I'm here for a family medicine conference. It's a national conference that just about um, a lot of directors for residency programs are gonna be here. A lot of other medical students, other uh, transitional years, other residents are gonna be here. I've never been to one, so I, I don't know exactly what's gonna go down, but I do have a schedule. It's held in Kansas City, Missouri. It's in the conventional center, Kansas City Conventional Center. Today, Thursday, it uh, starts at 7 a.m. until 6 p.m. And then Friday, uh, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturday, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's a three-day program. I'll let you guys know how it goes, like what you do, how to prepare for it. Actually, I did one thing. I did uh, print out my CV. Someone had told me, my friend had told me to do that. So this also allows you to network. I think that's the biggest key for these things, um, which I'm terrible at and I need to get better at, especially in the medical field you need to make sure you're good at networking try to be better at networking because the better you are the more likely for a great residency that you'll get because it also allows you to show them your personality and they don't want to just be with a really smart person they want to be with someone that they can get along as well you want to be the best version of you don't change yourself for anyone because there's going to be a residency program that fits you uh, and I think that's important at the end of the day you want to be in a program that wants you and um is looking for someone like you currently at the Kansas City Convention Center we already registered we're yes you can't find coffee well we did <laughs> So now we got like our registration oh, smiling. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're all registered and we're gonna wait to, for the opening, right? The opening, yeah, registration. Not registration. No, we're registered. You're registered. <laughs> You're worse than I am. Orientation, orientation. Orientation. <laughs> After the orientation, we get to pick out of like a bunch. There's actually an app. Is there right? a my residency application? <laughs> <laughs> no. I might hurt it. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> There's an app, and you can pick out like what section you want to go to. One we're gonna go to is. We're still figuring that out. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're very decisive people. <laughs> we want to go all, to all them. But it's not possible. Right? First coffee? No. Yeah. No? Yeah. Possible. We're gonna get coffee. <laughs> and what is this about? Tell me. Well, pneumocystis pneumonia. You know, one of the causes of. Um, uh-huh what is uh an hiv prevalent you... population uh-huh infiltrate <laughs> is it bilateral diffuse? that is diffuse yeah like okay. interstitial infiltration has aids 
you worry about BCP. You make sure they have their prophylaxis with that TMP SMS. Mm. Well, how do you diagnose it? BAL. Nice. How do you treat it? Acid for 14 days, high dose. Okay, so the next one is about hypoglycemia in non diabetic patients. Okay, so someone comes in and they are in the hospital, they have a glucose level of 178 and they um, they are coughing, they have an infection. So, what's the cause of the hyperglycemia in that patient? Yeah, so stress itself can cause hyperglycemia and then their a1c1 is normal so that's because i remember doing a question and i selected type 1 diabetes but then it is a stress involved hyperglycemia because their a1c should not be normal if they have type 1. nice introduce yourself hi my name is teresa hi teresa <laughs> so why do you want to be a family physician family medicine kind of opened the whole importance of preventative medicine to me so if you're somebody that cares about frontline medicine and you want to work with all groups of people, kids, you know, get into geriatrics, it's a great field. Yeah. It has a little bit of everything. Exactly. Why not internal medicine? So internal medicine is dealing with the problem that we can possibly take care of earlier. Yes. That's exactly <laughs> of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly why. Because I remember doing like internal medicine and stuff and literally every single patient that I saw, I'm like, you could, this could have been prevented. Right, and that's and where it we just come broke in. my heart. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Why do you want to do family medicine? <laughs> Why? Well, I just want to cater to the entire population. It's coffee by <laughs> As our theme says, to explore more in family medicine and learn from nationally recognized educators and healthcare leaders. You're here to visit a number, a record number of exhibitors, including the largest family medicine residency fair in the country. And you're here to meet others like you through networking and social events. Make your voice heard by participating in the National Congress of Students and National Congress of Family Medicine Residents. So what kind of laws do we need to fix? What kind of rules do we need in communities? What type of uh, stores do we need in, in different parts of Chicago where we have food deserts? What kind of violence issues are there in Chicago that are preventing my patients from going to do that exercise that we know that will help them? We currently are going to take coffee break and stop with the exhibit. I'll tell you guys more about it. I'm so happy that I came. I was really, uh, I was kind of second guessing whether I should have come like right before I did. Like it was like not last minute, but it was almost last one and then I decided and like booked everything. But I'm so glad I did. I think I um, found, I mean, I kind of already knew that I was passionate about family medicine, but this really reassured me. So I'm like really, really happy. Um, we're both really happy happy that we came. Brian. <laughs> so we just got our coffee and we're gonna go through the pamphlet that they gave us, which I kind of showed you guys earlier. Um, and it talks about the residency programs that are uh, family medicine residencies and um, in the expo, which is gonna start at five o'clock, we can meet the program, the residents from it. Are the program directors gonna be there or just residents? It could be both, either both or either or. So we're gonna do some research onto the about the programs that we're really interested in, and then make sure to go to their booth and talk to them and introduce ourselves. I brought some of my uh, or a bunch of CVs, so I'm gonna provide them uh, whichever I'm like really interested in. I'll give them my CV just so they remember me. What is it? I think on this side. Wait, let me let's see it on the map. Okay, let's go there. So yeah, that was really good. I thought it was very informative. Um, you got to talk to a lot of the coordinators. You got to talk to the residents, the chief residents. I feel like there's so much that- Super helpful. It's super helpful. And it's like great for networking. And I feel like I usually really suck at networking, but- No, we you're, were, really, you're really good at it. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't bad. We are a good team. Yeah. <laughs> we were thinking about like separating after the first one, but then we, we did good. So if you want to come out with a friend, I think it will be helpful. I think. But if they're gonna bring you down, I mean, don't you know, work I was gonna. <laughs>
but it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. So tomorrow it starts at seven, no, eight, nine, nine, nine to five. five. And then there's a after party. Um, so that'll Ooh. be fun. And then on Saturday it's from nine to one, or eight yeah. thirty to one, something like that. So we'll um, keep you updated. updated. Oh my gosh, can I just complain about my shoes right now? Oh. Stupid me, I had to wear heels. Like, what What was I thinking? It was Brian's idea. Don't wear heels, <laughs> you can't handle it. <laughs> I can usually handle it, that's why I wore it. But this time around, literally we were on our feet since seven, so my feet is literally dying. Okay, so it is day two. We have a new friend. Hello, how are you guys? My name is Ali. Awesome. <laughs> and of course, that's the loser Brian. <laughs> We're going to go grab something to eat and then we start. What is the first one? It's at nine o'clock. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Ali? Well, what is it? I don't even know where we're going. <laughs> so we're going to a session. Yeah. We don't know what it is, but it's going to be interesting though. That's what we it's know. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to be motivating again because yesterday's was definitely motivating. Um, so yeah, we're going to grab something to eat and then we'll talk to you later. Are you ready? <laughs> Go to AAMC.org and there's a whole list of questions to ask during residency interviews. Oh, AAMC? Hold on, it's not focusing. No. There you go. AAMC. Don't forget to ask. Okay. Don't forget to ask. It's a really good article. It's not, you're probably going to wonder, hey, what do I ask these programs? And that's what you ask. That's what you ask. Okay. Pick, pick a couple. Don't ask too many. Okay. So we are still here, it's second day, and everybody's going strong. We're talking to programs. No, we are going strong. <laughs> and over there is like chill tables that you can sit at and relax because you've been talking to people all day. It like goes all the way down. We have to still get on that side. Yeah. yeah. Journey. Long journey, and right. we are currently taking right. um, coffee break. Coffee break. All right, so we're gonna learn some questions and then get back to you. Okay, so we just got done eating. I'm with Ali and Brian. Let's tell them about our experiences so far. Oh, the experience has been so fun. You know, we get to meet like uh, do like different sessions. You know, get to learn more about residency, like what do's, what don'ts. You know, in the interview, especially, I was like. Like no idea what to do for an interview, so that was pretty nice. You know, the, the, the application process, like a lot of things. You know, that do deadlines. You know, they kind of walk you through that. You know, there's like different workshops. If you're interested, you know, doing um, like procedure stuff. Okay, so what's really important is to so they have this set up for the residency booths. There's like 500, 600 programs. It's important for you to research like each one or which ones you're interested in and also like what what in the program are you looking for um otherwise you're just gonna look clueless like we were because there's like 600 what 13 or something so many programs exactly. that, and so that's why if you do your research the programs that you really want to go to you want to make sure to talk to them exactly and then what they will and then what they'll do is scan your card and so they have your information. So that will indicate to them whenever you do apply that you have like visited them and you're really interested get, and they'll kind scan. of boost you up. So definitely get your name in. Uh, you can get give them your card, which, did you give them your card? Oh yeah, I have a business card. Right here, <laughs> right here, look at that. There you know, you go, look at oh, that. Actually, one thing I highly recommend, like a lot of people don't do on their business card, yeah. have you on it. A lot of the parameters, I love that, that I put my face on it because they see like so many students. They don't know who you are, you know, by the time yeah. they're done with it. So if you have your face on it, they can put a face to the, you know, and, uh, and be relaxed. Picture, yeah. You know? like, and just ask questions. Be ready 
like to ask good questions because we were struggling because um, Brian and I tag teamed it and we were like, what should we yeah, ask? And then right exactly. away I asked about like, what's the lifestyle of residency? And they're like, <laughs> what go. do you mean? Like we were literally struggling. Be more struggling. specific about your questions. <laughs> oh, yeah, specificity um, is very important. Yeah. Show that you're really interested in uh, the program yeah. that you want to go into. And know a little bit about the program. I would like to add, um, yeah. like if you like, like for instance, I'm from California, and there's a lot of programs from different like locations, and like like South Carolina, I've never been there, you know. And don't be afraid to go there. Actually, the yeah. lady from South Carolina was so nice, was so friendly. Like, come in, to check out our booth. I even told her, like, I'm not from there, area, I don't know the area, you know. That's totally fine. You don't know, have to yeah. be from the place to like, you know, talk to them. You know, talk to everybody. You never know what they're looking for. Uh, you might like that program. You might, you might like that program, you know, they might like you, you know, so you should try everything out, you know? There was one program that I was like, yeah, I'll just go to, the, you know, get my badge, like, scanned in, <laughs> and if I want to apply, you know, um, I'll apply, but I ended up really liking their program. They mentioned a lot of things, and I realized, oh, yeah, that's something that's important to me, and then as I went through different booths, like, I asked those questions because I... You kind of don't know what yeah, you want exactly. until you like kind of a a talk about it, right? Yeah. So I feel like it was a very like a learning experience. So you have three days of getting like talking to the um, the programs and talking to the program directors. So there's a lot of helpful things within the pamphlet. Like, I felt more confident in my selection. I felt like oh, I was yeah. doing. I am in the right place, and so I think the conference in that aspect really helped oh, me yeah. as well. So I'm really excited. I'm like it's so excited to come worth here. Coming here Literally, I I was telling Brian, I'm like, dude, forget. Do you know how much I spent here? I <laughs> dropped this much for freaking three days. It better be worth it. And honestly, like from the get go, I was like, was shit. Like I love it. Nice. Like I'm I'm so glad. And then I'm glad that these guys are here too. Oh. Bless you, Mercy Medical. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Awesome. What are they gonna have? What's the event tonight? It's a party. 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 Yeah. Party. Eight eight it's, yeah, Eight so they're gonna have something fun as well. Yeah. Hey guys. So I am currently. Sorry. Someone like has elephant freaking feet upstairs. Like. I don't know if you can hear that. They're literally stomping, like stomping. I just got back from the second day of the Family Medicine National Conference. If you're interested in family medicine, there's an app called, I mean, there's like obviously the American Academy of Family Medicine Physicians, Family Physicians, and AAFP, which is so good. Like the app is so good. It has so many informative things. Um, I would definitely add it. So some of the things that you can do is my favorite programs, find a residency, uh, my match task list, read match guide, uh, interview questions, that's all here on this um, uh, under for students section. There's just so much on here. So if you're interested in family medicine, this is definitely something that you need to sign up for and be a member of and then um, also get the app so you can utilize it. They also have an AAFP events app and oh my gosh, it's so freaking cool. Like the way they set it up, I'm super impressed by it. Highly recommend the conference. I was really um, hesitant with signing up for the conference. The event was alone, like 180 if you do it early bird, but I did it late, so I paid 250. And and then I had to get the flight tickets, which I am so good at flights, you guys. Like I'm good at finding cheap flights. And the secret is really easy. It's just it doesn't even take me that long to um, find good flights. Um, what you do is put in cheap flights and then you'll go to, it says cheap flights, and then you'll put in your destination and like round trip or it could be just one way. And, and then you go, the one that I always select and find the best um, deals in is Cheap O Air, I think. Click on that and then you will get comparisons. And then um, if you are flexible, that's when it helps the most. I literally got my ticket for 200 and... 47 like some airlines they won't let you even carry carry on that's how like that's why it becomes cheap because you're not allowed to get certain things like you won't be able to get carry-ons or 
check any bags so you have to be careful with that even if you check bags like it ends up being cheaper anyway so either way uh just check it and pay for extra you know what i mean uh, but just add that up to your whole like flight ticket then so in case you didn't know so obviously they have to filter it somehow whenever they go into through applications because they can't if like one hospital gets 3,000 applicants then obviously there's there has to be a, a filter that they have to submit to uh, decrease that number because they're not going to interview 3,000 people that's um, impossible so they're going to narrow it down and then they further narrow it down so they need filters to narrow those down to eventually get 100 people to interview and then out of those 100 like eventually like get up to six or seven depending on what the program how many program um what the program has or how many residents they take in for the year so that's like something that's why it's important with match to remember that so that's why it's not just about your scores it's not just about how excellent of a student you are it obviously those things matter but that's the thing you could have great scores but still somehow a filter could weave you out so for example like it's a program in pennsylvania and you're not from pennsylvania and they need to have like a filter um so even though you're a great student from colorado but and your application is good your personal statement was good your lors are good but because of the fact that they need that addition filter and maybe they just want to look at all the uh, Pennsylvania students and so then now you just got excluded out. Do you see what I'm saying? So sometimes um, filters like that can like exclude you out of the application. Not that that is always the filter. I'm just saying that's an example. And then also your application being submitted on time. So make sure that, which is what I didn't have uh, last match. And that was what, because my application wasn't complete at all. My CS score wasn't in. I hadn't really networked. Um, that's so important. It's so crucial to network. But um, so yeah, so this was, doing a conference is definitely, um, definitely worth it. I mean, I'll let you guys know for sure, but I feel like, I learned a lot and of what I want from a program myself by talking to all these programs and what I'm looking for. I didn't really know that prior to this. I'm highly encouraging you guys to do whether you're doing family or emergency medicine, internal medicine, whatever it is, do the conference and network and talk to people. So it's it's important. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and relax for a little bit. I talked on uh, forever and I hope this was helpful and informative I hope that you guys get something out of this and it encourages you guys to uh, do this yourself and um, let me know if you guys have any questions um, I'll still show you guys around because we still have tonight I'll uh, take care of you guys through the event a little bit and then also carry you guys uh, through the event to, uh, tomorrow it's actually really nice Kansas City my I thought it was gonna be weird. Like Missouri, who lives in Missouri? <laughs> Just kidding for anyone that's from Missouri. <laughs> Are you ready? So we're, Brian was about to ditch out of this experience. No, I was just joking, it's a test to see that's what I, that's it. You're right. So we got his ass to come out. Didn't take that much convincing though. <laughs> conference and I am already I wore a dress with a blazer my feet are still dying I'm wearing flats today so that's good hey guys we just got done with the last day of the he event donated blood. and he donated blood but I wasn't able to donate blood I got pricked Ooh, I was about to give them the middle finger <laughs> <laughs> 
I got pricked twice and my both times my iron levels were too low. No, she needs those pills. I know, iron I need pills. those iron pills. But, so the event was really good. Um, all we did was stay upstairs and talk to the programs. What were the sessions that you wanted to do? There was like an x-ray session, <laughs> there was... Sports medicine. Sports medicine session. There was a bunch of other ones, so you could easily do that. You don't have to go to the expo where um, the programs are, but that's what I did because there were still a few um, programs that I wanted to visit. And yeah, that was fun. So now we're exploring Kansas City. Kansas City is pretty impressive. There she is. So we're gonna, what are we doing? Checking out the base basketball experience. I don't think you can see the sign, but we're gonna see enjoy gonna the remaining Saturday and we'll play some basketball and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna kick his ass, of course. <laughs> just three days but um, all day Thursday and then all day Friday and half day Saturday it was so exhausting there's so much and you're doing so much honestly it was one of the best experiences that I've had in a while and I think also having a good friend it just makes the experience all that better uh, so shout out to Brian for um, being such an awesome friend bye <laughs>